Here's how you can securely mount any TV to your wall in just five simple steps. Our first step is to get everything prepared. If you haven't already, make sure to unbox all of your equipment. So that's your TV and the TV mount that you've purchased. But if your TV has legs or feet or a stand of any sort, you wanna make sure to take those off. Now just for reference, the TV mount I'm using here supports up to 135 pounds. This TV weighs way less than that, so we're more than secure on that. And then this is available on Amazon for a little over $100. Don't do what I did and go to Costco. I paid $150 thinking I'd get a really you know, best price on that, but it was actually a lot cheaper on Amazon. So I'll put links in the description below if you wanna try this one. Step two is determining approximately where on your wall you want your TV to go. The main thing you have to keep in mind here is line of sight. So if you're gonna be sitting down on a sofa, for example, you wanna put the TV basically right at eye level, the middle of it, but then maybe shift it up just a little bit. You've got usually about five degrees of movement that you can see with your eyes comfortably without moving your head up and down. So you wanna keep that in mind. Now here we're in an exercise room, and so we are standing up pretty much all of the time when we're watching what's on the TV. So with that in mind, we're gonna to wanna to put this pretty high, higher than you might place it in a living room or a family room or something like that. So based on the size of TV that we've got here, I'm thinking that if we come down probably anywhere from nine to 12 inches is where we'll want the top of the TV to be able to comfortably see the middle of it. That should work for both my wife and I, and I think that's about where we wanna go. And then as far as the horizontal placement, sometimes you wanna make sure you get that right on the center of the wall or as close as you can and then other times you want it off center. And so in this case, we have a treadmill right here. So we're gonna keep this off to this left side, kind of in this range, range or region right here. So that's where I know I want it and we're ready to move on to step three. Now I'm someone who hates math and I don't wanna figure out a bunch of measurements. So there's a kind of easy way around this. What I'm gonna do is mount on the TV bracket itself and then mount the bracket to the mount and get everything installed here just temporarily so that we can see what our exact measurements are without having to subtract and add and figure out the offsets and all that funky stuff. So first thing we'll do is make sure to follow the instructions on whatever TV mount you have. If you have this exact same one, you can kind of follow along with what I'm doing, but check out the instructions that come with yours so that you make sure you get this right. You're always gonna have this huge bag of screws and washers and um, all kinds of fun stuff in here little spacers, and this is just to make sure that you get the exact right fit for your TV. So you will not use 99% of this stuff or 90% of it. So I've already selected out the ones that I need, and one of the most important things you wanna see here is that we don't use the wrong screws to mount the bracket to the TV. You can see right here that this screw here is not very long, you know, it's pretty short, but as I start to thread it in, what happens is, pretty quickly, right there, it bottoms out. I'm not gonna push that any further because if I do, it could be applying pressure to the screen itself, which could damage it. Now typically there'll be a plate back here to protect that, but the last thing you wanna do is put too much pressure on your screen, which could crack or ruin that. So you need a shorter screw. So luckily we have these ones that are the same thread pitch, the same threads, but a lot shorter. And you'll notice that as I thread this one in, it bottoms out. That's the one we need to use. Now that I have the bracket in place, I'm able to use one simple measurement to figure out where this bracket needs to go on the wall to get the TV in the perfect spot. So if I wanna use the top of the TV as a reference point, then I just need to measure from the top to one of my holes down here where I'm gonna drive a lag bolt through. So in that case, 17 inches. So I can use that, or if I wanna go from the bottom, I can do that as well and that's gonna be about three and a half inches. Step four is to mount our wall mount portion of the TV mount to the wall itself. And we're gonna drive those in with some lag bolts. And one thing that's critical here is that we mount these into the studs behind the drywall. In order to do that, we're gonna use a center finding stud finder. There's a lot of stud finders out there, and this one I think will do a great job for what we need. So I've got it on regular stud scan here. And as I move it across the wall, Gonna show a stud finding there, and there's our center. It's got a little notch in the top here, so I'm gonna mark that. And the important thing about this is it's not just finding the stud itself, but it's helping us locate the exact center of it. Here's another, maybe, there we go. And then we're off the stud. 
okay? So now that we have our studs marked here and here, we just need to verify that those are 16 inches on center and we'll work with our template. And they better be because I framed this basement myself, so hopefully I did this right. There we go, 16, we're exactly where we need to be. So with that, I'm now gonna use the template to try to see if these will line up perfectly with our template. If your wall mount doesn't come with a template like this, you can just use your tape measure to get your measurements or you can just put the actual wall mount right up to it. But since we have this, we'll go ahead and use it. And I can see here that I've got an opening here and here, so we're perfect. So we just need to set our height at this point. And I know from what we talked about earlier with as far as how far down we want it, we want it as close to the tops of these as possible. So I'm gonna bring it right down to about here. I'm gonna mark this area but before we drill anything or mark it out, we need to make sure we're level. Now that we have our two spots marked from the template, we wanna make sure we're level. And I'm guessing, I thought these might be pretty close, but they're actually not. So I'm looking here and we need to go quite a bit down on the left side here to get it to where it's level right about there. So I'm gonna mark that there here. Now, just a quick tip. Anytime you've got an outlet or something that requires a box in the wall, it's almost always going to be mounted to a stud. In this case, I've actually got two. I've got some speaker wires in here, and so these are both straddling a stud. So I know that basically it's gonna be right in the middle, and if you just have one, it's gonna be on one side or the other. So that can help you find where the stud is pretty quickly. Now we'll take our template back up here, and with that in place, we can mark our bottom holes as well. And there. So our next step is to choose the right size drill bit and typically that's going to be in your instructions for your TV mount. But the gist of it is any screw, lag bolt, anything like that, to pre-drill it you want to make sure that the pre-drilled hole is the same diameter as the shaft of the screw without the threads. If you do it with the threads there's nothing for it to grab onto and if you do it too small it's going to tend to split that stud which is again not something that we want. Okay, now we'll do the same on the other three and then we're ready to mount it. And we'll take our first lag bolt and drive it in. There we go, okay. So that's on there fairly tight. That's plenty tight for now. I can come back around to these and tighten them all up individually when I'm done. Now one thing I completely neglected to do in my haste here was I forgot to put the washers on the lag bolts. So you should put those on, they do come with the kit, and I didn't. But fortunately we have a pretty wide head on these lag bolts, so it's not really going to be an issue. I'm not worried about them slipping through or anything like that. But for your sake, remember to put those on, it does help. And now next we're ready to put our articulating arm on, and this just slides under the top lip, and then slips into place like that. And then I've got four little uh, hex heads that I'm gonna put in here with washers this time and fasten this in place. Now I'm about to test this thing out, but I weigh 200 pounds. This is rated for 135. So we'll see how this goes. But if it does hold me, you should totally check out some of my t-shirts and hoodies and all that fun stuff. Links are in the description below, but let's give this thing a try. Here we go. Okay, it works. Go click on that link. Yeah, please, quick, do it. Before we mount the TV itself, there's a cool little idea that they had here where you can stash the hex key in there. And then it's got these decorative covers that go over. So we'll put one in one end, and then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. So now with everything in place, we're just gonna drop the tapered end into the hook, like this, and this thing is ready to go. So we just have one screw left to put in the bottom, and it'll be nice and secure. Now that you've completed those five simple steps and you have your TV beautifully mounted to the wall, there's two bonus steps I have for you. The first one is you deserve a nice cold drink. I'm gonna enjoy a Coca-Cola. And the second step is if you've got any wires underneath your TV, I've got a video right here to show you how you can quickly and easily get rid of those for good in a way that's totally up to code. My name is Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.